Welcome in to the final edition of May the 4th Be With You, and I hope that your May 4th has been eventful. Happy Star Wars Day. And I think I'm going to upgrade my powers here. We're playing Force Unleashed 2. Decided to play this game instead of Knights of the Old Republic. Just because my character was deleted, and I don't know, there's just some things I don't like about that game in its current state. I will revisit it sometime. Uh, I haven't played it since they've had the space battles, and that kind of sounds cool. I used to... I, I did the beta test. Eh, it was alright. Uh, wiped out my character. I was kind of... I, I was a little miffed about that, because I did work fairly hard to level my guy and they changed the beta and I know that the beta you know it's a beta so you go in that knowing it's a turret over there these turrets seem to be rocking this building but I took pretty much no damage it's time to go beat up on some stormtroopers they like me now I love that move, it just throws him across the whole map. I'll just play around with this guy. Push. Oh, target acquired, huh? Oh, we got some more Q-tip, guys. Have a seat. Boom! Yeah, so I wonder, I'm really starting to wonder where Disney's going to take these properties as far as game-wise. Are we going to see a bunch of crap games come out, or, or are they, are they going to do right by the franchise? And you know what? The franchise hasn't done right by the franchise. This game here is halfway decent, but as you can tell, it's total hack and slash, and I could see how it can get kind of old after a while the first one what what kept me in that one to completion on that one I uh, played on the Wii and I was kind of digging the digging the controls all the physical controls that you could do it really immersed me in the game in the original Force Unleashed that it was lots of fun this game right here I'm playing on PC it's on its most maximum settings uh, because I'm rocking a AMD 8350 and an R9 280X video card, so anything this game has to offer, uh, it, that that machine's gonna handle it. I mean, it it handles Titanfall at almost max settings on three screens at a resolution of 4760 by 1080, I believe it is. That's lots of fun. Three screens, that's a lot of fun. If you're a PC gamer, invest that money. You really should invest that money. You will you will thank me later. It's lots of fun. Some games don't support it very well. Um, like uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, I did the free weekend. Oh, awesome, I died. I did the free weekend, and uh, it just looked like everything was scrunched. So there's some games that you'll run into problems with, and sometimes the settings get messed up, like native uh, resolution, and then you change the resolution resolution to 5760 by 1080, and everything looks smushed. So sometimes you have to, you know, it, it's it's a work in progress. And then also with Titanfall, it's not fully optimized either. Like when I'm in a Titan. My two side screens, I can see a lot of screen tearing, and uh, I don't know if if that's going to be fixed or what, or maybe I can just play around with the settings. But anyways, back to Star Wars. Unfortunately, uh, the 1313 project uh, went away, and that looked like it was going to be pretty a pretty cool game. But then again, I was also really excited about Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, 
I was going to have the game pre-ordered. I did the beta testing, and when it deleted my character, I decided that I wasn't going to pre-order. When it came back to free-to-play, I checked it out again. And it, it, it was okay. I just didn't want to invest a whole lot of time in another game like that. And if you watch a lot of... You watch some of my other videos. I have invested quite a bit of time in Defiance. And that game is going free to play. Awesome. I played uh, full cart for it. Oh, died again. Son of a gun. I paid full cart for that game. And a year later, it's free to play. And all of the mechanics have changed. I've all but abandoned that game, un unfortunately. But... They, they made it really uh, extremely difficult, which I'm all for, but when a common NPC enemy takes all of your ammo to kill, and there's 10 or 15 in a certain area, uh, that's no good for me. They need to patch that thing and put, uh, give us more ammo. I don't mind having to use more bullets to kill things, just give me the opportunity to not run out of ammo on a common NPC. So, maybe that game will get fixed. May the 4th be with you. So in the last few years, this has actually become somewhat of a geek holiday, and I, I, I love it. Before it was just, you know, may the 4th be with you, you're, you're funny. And now some of the the publishers and everything are getting in, getting behind this said geek holiday. And offering sales, like the Google Play Store is offering uh, sales on um, a lot of the old fan fiction books and I'm not sure what Steam's going to do later today but they do have this game for 66% off which puts it down below 7 bucks definitely worth the 7 bucks I'm kind of hoping that later today Amazon or Steam puts on some of the Lego Star Wars games which I did own for console but not for PC, and I'd definitely pick them up on PC if they're cheap enough. Alright, so we're gonna kill these last two guys here and call it quits. Come on, Q-Tip. Here, take a ride. You take a ride, too. Are they dead? I think I pushed them off the side. So anyways, that's going to conclude the May the 4th Be With You holiday. And I hope you get all the Star Wars games that you want or need on this awesome day. Hit, hit up Steam. I don't know what the consoles are doing. I heard Sony is doing something. What that is, I do not know. Do not own a PlayStation. I'm not a console hater, but I probably won't. I might get an Xbox someday. I don't know. But I've invested a lot of time and money in my PC, and it runs fantastic and plays games great. If I want to play with a controller, I do have an Xbox 360 wired controller that I play with. So, for me, a console is kind of uh, not needed. So anyways, happy May the 4th. And subscribe, like this video. Maybe we'll continue the series if it gets enough views and likes. I'll continue all the way through in this kind of format. And thanks for watching.